Hello, and welcome to Be a Champion Farmer, the show where a farmer takes on a challenge, and if they win, they're awarded a Champion Farmer Medal. Today, we have Farmer Sue, and the challenge he faces is the African Swine Fever. The African Swine Fever is a virus that infects domestic pigs and wild boars. Humans cannot be infected, but if a pig is infected, it dies. The African swine fever is bankrupting farmers all over the world. However, this disease can actually be prevented by following a few simple biosecurity measures. Okay, let's watch Farmer Sue at work. Uh-oh. Is that what I think it is? It is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't feed them the swill. Really? Oh my, bringing in other pigs onto your farm? Ah. <laughs> and what? He allows a boar to wander in freely for food? And mating? His pigs have the virus. Let's stop here and help Farmer Sue so he can prevent this from happening. To control the virus, we need to control the farm. First, build a pig pen. You can make it out of wood or even concrete. The important thing is, is to keep your pigs from coming into contact with other animals. For these next steps, everyone who visits your farm needs to follow them. Always change your clothes and shoes before tending to your pigs. Boots are best to wear, and these boots should only be used for working in this area. And remember, wash your hands with soap and water. Dip your boots in disinfectant at the entrance. If you have more than one pig pen, dip the boots again before entering the other pig pens. Always keep tools and equipment for your pigs separate and clean these items frequently. And never use them for other things on your farm. Use them only for your pigs. And don't reuse the water that you use to clean meat for cooking. This water might be contaminated, so you should never give this water to your pigs. When you use swill, always boil it for 30 minutes. This will kill the virus. Let the swill cool down before feeding it to your pigs. Never allow vehicles to enter your farm. When new pigs are brought onto the farm, always keep them separate from your other pigs for at least 30 days. If there are no symptoms of being sick, you can then put them with the others. And do not allow your sow to mate with a wild boar or an unhealthy boar. And no matter how much she begs, never let her out to wander to find a lover. Always have her mate with a healthy domestic pig. That way, you know it's healthy and safe. And that's it. By following these simple steps, you and Farmer Sue can keep your farm free of African swine fever. Since there isn't a vaccine nor treatment for African swine fever, 
it's important to teach others these biosecurity measures so that all of you can be a champion farmer and keep your pigs free from the African swine fever.